Emotions are running high following the death of an Eagle Point High School student this week. And out of respect, many students have been posting signs and pictures. But today, two students say that they were unfairly suspended in the midst of it all. NBC 5's Roma Villavicencio joins us in studio right now with more. Roma. Or as you can imagine, this has been a tough couple of days for the Eagle Point community. But the junior I spoke to today says she was suspended for doing what she believes is right. The Eagle Center at Eagle Point High School transformed to show our support for her. Support for a fellow classmate who took her own life this past week. But the situation turned complicated Thursday when junior Riley Bradley Smith claims she was suspended for posting pictures of the girl in the designated area. Because we were wandering the halls, it was truancy. Even though, yes, I was defiant and yes, I didn't go to their office, but it was because of direct order of my parent, who has more say over them. Bradley Smith says she had permission from a teacher to be out of class and claims the principal told her and a friend that pictures are not allowed. We spoke to the principal and the district's human resources director over the phone. They couldn't go on camera, but did tell me nobody at Eagle Point High School was suspended for posting pictures or posters. They couldn't confirm why Bradley Smith and her friend were suspended due to student privacy laws. But Bradley Smith's mother says she was told it was because of truancy and defiance. I think she was my example of I think Riley became vocal and became a articulate um, person in the fight and became an easier target because she doesn't back down. Bradley Smith says this is about much more than standing up for herself. She believes her fellow Eagle was bullied. I feel like all I'm trying to do is to get the fact out there that bullying isn't okay. To be clear, no one has been able to confirm that bullying had anything to do with the young girl's death. Meanwhile, several students tell us a protest is planned for tomorrow morning. Live in the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.